Stand by, 10 seconds there. Oh, here we go. You all Camera two, ready to open shot. Oh, give me the opening three. Stand by the roll tape. Roll tape. Alex. Three seconds there. Two, one. Take camera two. You. Good evening and welcome to the big replay. Well, there was more drama and excitement in the 17th round of South Australian football today. Really, we're becoming quite conditioned and pleasantly so to this excitement. I suppose the most stunning success today was uh, the result of the bottom place West Adelaide uh, going past the uh, Cheltenham Cemetery and defeating the top place Port Adelaide at Albert. And a marvellous achievement for Trevor Hughes and his young uh, band we affectionately now know as the Wolves. And it seemed that Pekka Power will indeed prevail this year because uh, Woodville has consolidated itself um, in the five with a splendid victory and an effortless victory over North Adelaide today at Woodville. And incidentally, uh, North Adelaide named coach Barry Robin in the centre of the ground. He played in the centre and at half forward for a while and uh, although obviously restricted in his movement with his knee brace, he did get through the game uh, quite well. And uh, I suppose now, despite the unpredictability of the season, we can look forward to Woodville playing in September for the first time since being admitted to the league in 1964. Tonight's big replay games are Sturt versus Central District from the Unley Oval, a marvellous game there and marvellous entertainment for you on the replay, and Glenelg versus West Torrens from Football Park. In the other matches, it was West Adelaide just by four points, four points over Port Adelaide at Alberton. Woodville, as I said, by 56 points, 56 points um, at um, Oval Avenue over North Adelaide, and Nord by 15 points over South Adelaide. South Adelaide, the night champion, is now in dire trouble. And we'll have a look at the premiership table later, but they will need to gird the loins out there at Panther Park through the week. Now to the happenings in the Victorian Football League and some extraordinary things there as well. Fitzroy in a modest um, display of power kicked a record Victorian League score. 36 goals, 22, a massive 238 points to defeat a Melbourne by 190 points. Uh, Melbourne coach Carl Dittrich last week uh, got his men into the room and barreled them for their performance, so heaven only knows what he's done this week. Barry Beekoff kicked 10, Warwick Irwin 5 and Bernie Quinlan 4 as the Lions ran amuck. It was Collingwood by 21 points over Essendon, Carlton by 28 points over Hawthorne, St Kilda, it's been a long time between drinks there for Mike Patterson by 20 points over South Melbourne, North Melbourne by 13 points over Richmond which has, uh, has rallied somewhat in recent weeks and Geelong by 40 points over Footscray. But now indeed back to the home front. Michael Graham had to withdraw from the Sturt side because of injury and Jim Derrington was left in the reserves as was Michael Howard and uh, this meant that Greg Brand was brought up for his first senior appearance by the Sturt selectors. And it's now to that very game at Dunley Over where we turn our attentions and we join 10,327 followers at the start of the third quarter. The margin is two points, Sturt 7-6 Central 6-10. Dennis Airy and Sandy Roberts are your commentators. Side, the Blues leading by two points as we go into the third term. Davies back on the ball, followed by Mobs. Jonas trying to push the ball forward. Hardiman receiving from Heinrich. Typical Gary Hardiman play. Strong, determined, up towards half forward. Short from Cools, bad shot. He's been able to get away from Ian McKay. have a shot some 25 metres out, 45 degree angle, but should kick this. There's a good start for Stern in this third term. 8-6, leading central 6-10 on the big replay. The name of the game, get it out of the square. The Blues did just that, although the error by the two defenders on their half-back line clashing allowed Robbie Calls to come in, saw Bagshaw, speared one out, he did the rest, he has three goals. The Blues, eight goals, 6.54. Central District, six goals, 10.46. This is the bounce once again. Sims, by theme, down to Davies. There's the strength to farm out the handball. Bursting his way through is Mark Heinrich. A high ball towards half forward. 
Cochran in front, Zoom waiting down. Quickly across. Here's the chance for Sims or Heinrich backing up again. Across to Brother Mark. Put up towards Cools in the pocket. He's caught. Holding the ball. Blues have opened this third term very, very strongly. Low Vivian. He's in the draw early in the first quarter. He's been taken out of the game so far. And out wide to Schultz. He's in the half-back flank. A tumble punt kick. That'll fall short. Sims. The back 15. Picked up Howard. Bursting out. Davies. The beautiful hand pass. Came out. Heinrich. Over to Davies. The receiver. He runs into the space. Eventually one bounce. Walks over the hand pass. Chance. Now for Andy Downs onto the left boot to the square. The one on one battle. Harrington clears nonchalantly to the half back flank. Oh, no. Great mark, Andrew Zoom. Makita contender. And he certainly hit his strengths. He's given the chance, not necessarily with his kicking, because that goes straight onto the chest of Jonas. Jonas started brilliantly in the first quarter and then faded somewhat. The hand pass quickly over the north where he goes astray. Hunt, Vivian and Cochrane. The long handball out. Rene Van Dommel, no, Norsworthy. The quick hand pass over. The Blues playing with a lot of authority at the moment. Howard out wide, looking for Bagshaw. Tucked dangerously in that pocket. McKay after him. Oh, into the fence. And over the fence goes Paul Bagshaw. Both of them okay. That's good. Left forward pocket. And they'll have to do the same ruck work again. Good start by the Blues in this third term, the all-important third term. Davies, front spot, beautifully to Philip Heinrich, but he gets caught. Lytheen Sockers it forward. Good shepherding allows Heinrich in. Well done, John Hunt. Not a good kick, but Robbie Cools has possession. A snap, it's the post. What a brilliant snap by the young Robbie Cools. Would have been a brilliant goal had he got it. Hit the woodwork for a point. McKay to kick in. North end. Four minutes gone, third term. He's looking for Harrington, the battle of the nines. Whelan front spot, takes the crumbs, well balanced to Davies. Long to Heinrich, comes unstuck. Norsworthy, a chance. Fifeen, nowhere to go. Jonas, Howard. Howard the quicker of the two. Back to where it came from, one on one. Now Harrington in late. Andy Downs there also, through for a rush point. And the Blues doing everything right in the opening four minutes of this third term. Ian McKay having plenty of work to do. Sturter 8 8, leading central 6 10. Mobs Zoom again, but he attempts to spoil on this occasion. Norsworthy in front, does it well, has a look, and spears one to Wilbur. He's in the centre of the square. Oh, has uh, Jonas. That's dangerous. He's totally unattended the half-forward line. Has players running all over. He decides to play on short. Back to Wilbur Wilson. And they've made about 20 metres. Setting up Pete by feed. A chance for the Bulldogs to score. On the last line, Reed. And a bounce. Gallops into the open space. Cowie, the late arrival. Down towards Davies and Jonas. Tries the one-hander. Swamped by numbers, stays there though, keeps the ball in the area, well done. It's good effort Rick Davies, odds of two to one. Maintained control. By keeping it in that centre wing region, here's the bounce. Davies just stands there. And, uh, yes, that is definite shepherding. Yeah. The player took the line of the button coming in. A very generous 15 metres too. So Peter Bythine now, oh, payout time by Rick Davies. So Bythine now on the half forward line, oh it's a shocker off the side of the boot. Almost the mark, Wilbur Wilson, the crumbs, plenty of time, sets on the left boot, pops it up high, that looks straight, it's good, one goal. Central Districts back in business once again, an error by Sturt and Wilbur takes full advantage. The crumbs, what a clever player is Wilbur Wilson. At the chance, steadied onto the left boot. He's kicked three goals from 11 kicks. He has three goals, three. And Central Districts coming back strongly. Six and a half minutes in the third term. Four points the difference. You're looking for distance. Hard.
Hardiman says boot it straight down the middle. That's just the way it's going to go. That's a beautiful kick. Sims, by Bean, Hardiman, the Duck Shepherds, Norsworthy as he goes through. Hunt sweeps one out. He's looking for Zill. Finds Jonas. Now Zim unloads him. The handball's good. Hunt again. Down towards his half forward line. Norsworthy on the chest. Well shepherded too, Danny Harrington. Out by Vivian. Plenty of time to look. He goes short. Looking for and finding Rene Van Dommel. Oh, he's got mobs out wide. He'll use him. And the floating punt kick finds the skipper at the true half forward position. He's gained absolutely no distance, but he's now directly in front of goal. And if Dean Mobs can get onto a screw punt with this 10th kick. So he goes short with a drop punt. And it comes unstuck. Nigel Walk. The young brigade of Sturt performing annually. Here's one. into the paddock and break away Pete by Thien Ewan so he's forced to take his kick from centre wing now he goes to half forward with a long kick Warren at the back Harrington at the front Warren scoops it out tangle of players Whelan Rob calls Harrington after him back to Whelan plenty of time to look for the short Davies Rick Davies has certainly created the space in the forward lines in this term and uh, He's really running amok. Value player across that half forward line, not on the ball, creates the space. A good marking player to have across that line. About 45 metres out, directly in front. Drop, punt, world place. Lauren passes, yes, my God. The margin now 10 points, favouring the double blues. Sturt go to 9 9. Central 7 11. Good movement then across the half forward line for the Blues. Central Districts looked as if they were going to take the game away. Played in stages this vital third term. First the Blues, then Centrals, and now Sturt with a return goal. So, ten points the difference. It's the bounce. Sims again. Daryl Cowie coming for a run on the ball down to North Webby. Needs support. So to Captain Mox he goes. Out wide to Gillies who started so well, but Sanders is pecking back slowly. Handball into the space. Heinrich through. There's Mark to Brendan Howard. Towards half forward. Mark Pryor. What a great recruit he's been this year. Half back flanker. Ducking and weaving to the half back. True position. Zoom. At the back. Good mark. Handball. Hunt. Plenty of time. Looks. Goes long. Harrington. Wheeler. Oh, casually takes the mark. Now goes short again. Here he is again. Instant replay. From Whelan to Davies, only moments ago. Here we see it again from exactly the same spot. Another chance for a goal. And the central's defence appearing to be a little bit rattled. Just watching them during that movement. Central's preparing the interchange as the kick from Davies is well off line this time. At one point only, 11 points the difference. So Harrington off and Lee Stone on. Coach Darrell Hicks, I think, would uh, begin to worry. At the moment, Lee Stone, very handy player as a, a reserves player. To the square. Vivian. Charging, looking. Now high, down towards the half-forward line. Jonas is his target. Rene Van Dommel with crumbs. Howard after him. And hard of it. Oh, tries to barge his way through. Gets a desperate kick out wide. Has a quick complaint. No one listens. Chance for Schultz. Onto the left boot to the goal face. Big mass of plays at the back. Pete by Dean goal. Well, confusion reigned supreme there. There was some arguing going on across the half forward line. No one was listening. Bang, a goal. The main mover was Vivian, who has now disappeared to the reserves bench. Schultz, the long kick in, waiting at the back, Pete Bythien, takes the crumb straight through the centre for his first goal. Central Districts coming back strongly now, five points the difference. Cowie in ruck. Great responsibility on the youngster up against tireless workhorse in Trevor Sims. Great team man for the Double Blues over many years. Wins that ruck, but it's Duckworth. 
He tries to inject some fire into the side. Here's Hardiman playing a marvellous game. The long handball set up for Jonas. If it sits for him, he could be in business. Well done, Sanders. Taken out by Norsworthy. Oh. Well, the fuse was lit prior to that last goal being scored. And there was a minor explosion, only very minor. Which way the ball has gone. 15 metres against Central Districts. Yes, Philip Sanders was for holding. So he takes the short kick. Part of him. Co-half-backer. Now it's set a wing. And booms a beautiful screw punt. Down into the forward pocket. A huge mass of players at the back. Greg Woodsy. Norsworthy tried to stand the wall. The quick kick by Bagshaw. Hobie on the full. And we'll see a kick in. Crowd of around eight to 9,000 people here at Unley. Really getting their money's worth today. Great football. Kick back into play. A good one, too. Again, the Sun playing havoc with everyone. And Howard from centre. Davies again. He's a will of a wisp across that half forward line. People not quite checking carefully enough as the change is on. The kick is well directed. And Peter Hargraves. Now the true half forward spot. 16 minutes gone, third term. He's within kicking distance. Usually a good kicker of the ball. As many Blues players are. Screw punt. Front of the square. On the chest, Greg Butzi. No, that's Cowie. Cowie's in the forward pocket. Now has the task of looking after Sims, Davies and Hargraves. The long kick. Jones. Oh, the fly over the top. Andy Zilm, the quick handballs, too quick for Davies, mobs. At the bottom, Norsworthy, trying to get it out, can't do so. Umpire Argent will come in and bounce. Five points to the margin. Captain Mobs, a little concerned. Davies coming from behind to Zilm. Quick handball to Downs and his kick will stay in play. The chance now for Cool to Bagshaw. Great pressure. Hunt. A magnificent uh, attack on Hunt. Sees him go over the line. The ball in the right forward pocket. All skills being shown. Great ball getting and good tackling. Warren, Duckworth, Cowie, Heinrich waiting on the outside, as is Whelan. There's Lee Stone, and we'll see a bounce. My word, Robbie Cools is proving a real terrier. He certainly lacks no courage whatsoever. This gets in very, very hard. Rene Van Dommel on the edge. Out comes the left-handed. Forwarded by Stone, on by Rene Van Dommel. A chance. Pryor coming very strongly at Heinrich. He doesn't get his kick. It's stolen now from a good tackle. And the Bulldogs run the ball away. Through Pryor, out wide. Looking for Jonas. Finds it. Oh, Ooh, took the eye off the ball just as it came in. In goes Hardiman strongly and is free. Gary Hardiman at centre half back. With his 14th kick. It's been quite unflappable at centre half back. Oh, beautiful screw punts over his 14th kick. Cochran the flyer. Can't complete it, but great recovery and a shocking handball. Heinrich's pass, fraction high for Whelan. Lee Stone grabbed that hamstring as he came down. Whelan kicks it in play. A snap up to Bagshaw. Can't complete it. Barry Norsworthy in defence. Going out wide. Central's steadying a little with Schultz. To Duckworth at half back. Just right at the corner of the square. John Duckworth, a prodigious kicker of the ball. Now the handball over. Oh. He certainly doesn't like it. Is the John Duckworth, again the long handball to Cochran. A high ball over centre wing. Wilbur can't complete it. 
Adam and through. The handball over the head. So characteristic. Hargraves caught. Goes to ground. Andrew Zilm possession. Well done, Zilm. He's playing a great game. In towards the forward line and cools he goes. Bagshaw is there. Out to Whelan. A snap at goal. A great snap at goal, Ken Whelan. That could be the Ken Max goal of the day by the third forward. Well, the hard body work had been done. The ball came down across the half forward line. And then Whelan quickly snapped it up onto the left boot and steered through an incredible goal. And the Blues taking a strong grip on this game late in the third term. And I think the players at Central Districts don't want to lose at the moment is a very sick looking John Duckworth on the half back line. Centre bounce. Keep an eye on Duckworth because he is receiving attention at the moment. Here's Davies. Oh, quick. Play on his call. Up towards half four. Banshaw is there. Here's McKay. Well done as he brings the ball out wide. Trying to snare it was Mark Pryor. Stolen by Zoom, who's hit a purple patch. His handball is good to Andrew Downs. Down steadies. Goalwards. The ball is not going to come back enough. In fact, it's still kept in play and finally taken over for one point. Yes, and there are a couple of Central Districts players that look very sick at the moment. The elbow that uh, collected a Central Districts player, and we've seen a bit of that in the last two games. And Ian McKay. In Davies. Zilm, both hesitate. Hargraves, short and well directed. The Blues taking a strong grip now. Philip Heinrich, an opportunity now. And the younger players for Sturt, particularly in this term, have excelled themselves. The Heinrichs, Zilm, Cools, and the Central's defence has become rattled. This is a very important kick. Heinrich to the northern end, threads it straight through the middle, and Sturt, could they be coming into the five? Philip Heinrich's second goal, and Sturt go to 11-11, leading Central's 8-11 on Seven's big replay. We noticed last week that uh, Sturt have very strong bodied players who are really using that body and putting it in the middle of players. And I must say, what I have seen in the last couple of minutes, elbows being used completely illegally and not part of the game. Here's the bounce. Hargraves goes it alone. Taken by Mobs. Mutsi tries to put an end to that attack. Now Jonas, a spearing handball to Lehman. He's got the player in Schultz running. Shrugs the tackle. Runs his full distance in the left foot drop punt. Down towards full forward. Is that a great mark? Duckworth, who appears to have been moved because of that uh, illegal knock. And he will have a shot from point blank range. And Centrals need a score. He's converted. Central's 9-11. Trailing Sturt, 11-11. John Duckworth, two goals. Centre bounce, the three and a half minute mark. By Athene, Jonas throws it out to Wilbur Wilson. It's gone unnoticed. A chance now. Oh, ducking his head into all sorts of trouble. And getting the free kick is Renee Van Dommel. To half forward. Central's needing a score and needing it fast. Lehman spilling what he should have taken. The free kick will go the way of Jeff Gillies, who had a very quiet third term. I think this is his first kick since half time. Yes, so within his striking distance, though, about 40 metres out. What an important kick this will be. A high, oh, it's gone straight across the face of goals for a single. In the dying moments of the third term, Darrell Cowie had an opportunity. Two marks, two kicks, one out of bounds and one point. And that would have made a tremendous difference as we see an interchange. Danny Harrington on and the man we're talking about, Darrell Cowie, off. It's the kick. Davies. Goes to centre wing. Sims waits down at the back. 
good attempt to mark it was by Riley. Now Pryor comes away to half forward. A good mark taken by Lehman. His aerial work has been very good today. Eighth mark to him. He's at the true half forward position. Shot of Harrington tucked away into that clock. Hoping that that ball will fall short. Five minutes gone. Final turn. Kick has got plenty of length, but uh, not good direction for a minor score. 15 points to the Bulldogs. 9-15, Sturt 12-11. So their kicking for goal has let them down. And Lehman has one goal for. Here's Reid, again going to the outer side. Davies country. With him is Jonas. Out the back, Sewell. Nowhere to go. very quick to descend upon him and the bounce to take place but ooh, I thought that one was just about to sneak out the back door. Hardeman's rebound has been brilliant most of the day. Vithina coming out Lee Stone towards Cochran. Sims will meet him. Leaves the ball behind, tucks it forward. Jonas was there, flicked out by Hunt and a tangle of players. We see 14, about 16 players around the fall of the ball at the moment. 14 points, the margin favouring the double blues, realising they have a chance of making the five. It's tapped back and straight to Riley, who puts it out wide towards Jeff Gillies, takes a good mark. Yes, this will be one of the plays that Central Districts really want to fire in these next 20 minutes. Play on his call, he goes long to this half-forward line. Harrington, normally a defender, now on the, across the half-forward line, in there is Mobs, Lloyd, Sims, out the ball is the decision. It's going away of Dean Mobs, and he's in the true half-forward spot. Yes, John Duckworth will be the other player that they want to uh, have a strong performance in this next 20 minutes. The feature of Mobs' game is his tackling. There's no ex exception. The kick, too, looks pretty good off the boot. Slightly offline again, however. 9-16. Woeful kicking for goal. Trail now by 13 points. Just players kicking from a long way out, lose their accuracy as they go for just that bit more distance. Graham Reid. Shooting once again to his half-back position. Howard, early riser. He receives those. The crumbs come to hand. A massive players, and we'll see a bounce. 13, Schultz. 20, Wilbur Wilson. 14, Norsworthy. Sims, front spot. Hardeman. Can't take it away. Nigel Walk strokes the tackle. Does it well. Up towards Downs. He has possession now. Wobbles one across the centre. Heinrich can't quite complete the a miraculous mark. And holding the ball has gone against Heinrich. And listen to the skirt bounds. The correct interpretation. The left footer comes over to Jonas. Thinking about setting up the handball, now does so. Jeff Gillies onto the left boot. Duckworth will be his target. Davies will be there. Duckworth claims the mark. Play on is correctly called. Mobs. Wilbur Wilson doesn't have it. Davies does. Nigel Walk back to Mobs to Jonas. Jonas in trouble. Flicks up the hand pass. A series of hand passes to Heinrich. Has Andy Zilmer if he can get the ball out there. Can't do so. The tackle is superb. And it'll be Norsworthy. Well, the great action from the third term, and in fact the first three terms, is continuing in this final quarter. Daryl Hicks still firing instructions to his charges. Glad I'm not a runner in today's game. They've had a lot of work to do. 13 points the difference. Here's Walsworthy. Heavy body work going on. And the freeze beam. Hey, John Duckworth. No, it's going back to 15-metre penalty because the player went over the mark when he kicked. And so Norsworthy will have another kick 15 metres closer. And if he kicks exactly the same way, he'll certainly make the distance. Now, will he have the accuracy? 13 points. The change is on. Vivian. 
hit in the face in the first term. Riley off, Vivian on, Northworthy with a kick. Taking plenty of time. It's a very important kick. Drop punt on its way into the square. Not quite making the distance touch. The ironic cheers go up. Centrals record their 17th point. And now two kicks in it. Yes, the chance is going begging. Opportune times in each turn. Centrals have had the opportunity and blown it. Now Reed. Davies and Jonas. Jonas on the half forward line has a chance. 12th mark to Jonas. Good display. Massive players at the front. Sanders coming out. Norsworthy at knee level. Out. Gillies over to Schultz. Chance for the left boot. Oh, really? Bends one back against the point post. Duckworth. Well, we said earlier Duckworth could be the saviour. I think you may be taken round, John. So, uh, not an angle that he likes. Kick on its way. Goal. Central Districts coming home. They're 10th, 10 10 17. Trailing set, 12 11. Three goals, John Duckworth, and great action on seventh. Big replay. 15 minutes have gone in this final term. Here's Graham Reed. By theme, front spot. At the back is Jonas. Holding the ball. No sign yet of either side cracking. Both teams tackling well, playing well at the moment. The ball down towards centre wing. Over the top, Davies. High mark. Strong mark, just when it's needed. Looking. Looking for the leads. Out wide is Whelan. It won't get that far. Oh, brilliant charge in by Warren. He's done. Holding the ball is the decision. This going the way of Norsworthy. He goes on with the business straight away. Lee Stone. Half-back flank. Gets it over quickly. Pryor. Long. Phil Sanders, very glad to tuck it over the line defensively for a throw in. I think the next five minutes will tell which side is going to be able to hang on. The players just starting to sag a little, and who can blame them? Another throw in. <laughs> oh, but no, Van Dobbel really paying out. Schultze demanding more efforts. Good side from Central District's teammates at the back. The Duck tries to get it over, can't do so. Wilbur Wilson meets Rob Cool strongly. Down goes Brendan Howard and receives the free. 14th kick to Howard. Been a real try all day for the Blues. Short, not a good kick. In fact, over the line. Tired legs. Now the skills begin to fall away and the courage comes to the fore. Sims down, cools, Norsworthy, Renee Van Dunwell, cools again, Cochran and Davies. There's the old one. it comes. Only the handball goes. Chance, Heinrich. Forward, Pryor, and Annie Downs. Totally hooks it back. And he's on the charge. The handball on. In the square. Up comes Will and left Well, a great goal to double Blues, but it certainly had the sour note. Back at centre wing. And to see that, you've only got to look at Norsworthy. The Blues certainly working the ball very, very hard. That was a brilliant bit of stopping. Allowed uh, Andy Zoom to come in. He picked it up quickly. The handball over to Whelan. I thought he may have lost it in the square. Up he gets, round he goes onto the left boot. Goal, and a saving goal that could have been. 18 minutes gone, send him out. Sims, by Thien. Jonas to ground. Up and through, the fearless Hardeman. He's gone. Schultz, 15 metres going against Davies. Memories of a game at Elizabeth with uh, the Blues almost in the same position and Central Districts wore them down.
Schultz with a floating punt kick. Transport clear, raise good luck. Sturt at the moment, holding strong. Is Hargraves going to the outer side? Zilm, Sims and Vivian. Andrew Zilm doesn't contest. Comes away, but all straight to Peter Bythane. He's unsure of what to do. Gets the handball across to Norsworthy. Runs, kicks long in towards full forward. And goals for Central Districts, and back they come again. The kick was a hurried one. Pete Bythine, I thought he may have set up some trouble for himself, but speared the hand pass over to Norsworthy. He settled, kicked long, it was straight, his first. Now the difference, five points again. The lead is four points, and Trevor is not in a great rush. To half forward it goes. Norsworthy appeared to be held. To Brunner, Schultz, almost an airy. Norsworthy back to Norsworthy. Here's by theme. The runner is McKay, who's at centre, the fullback. Was at fullback. Wilbur! Well, great mark, Wilbur Wilson. He's kicked three. The running player was Ian McKay. A little bit of action uh, in the centre, and that's uh, just what it deserves. Barry Norsworthy says, get back. Save a little bit of strife, but it will be Wilbur Wilson with four points of difference from about 50 metres out. The left foot screw punt. Begins to bend back. Doesn't bend back enough. One point, three points the difference. Action everywhere, all over the ground. Graham Reed it will be. 22 minutes gone, three points the margin. Another good kick. Thumped forward down towards Van Dommel and Heinrich. Has front spot. Heads over the line and the throw in to take place. No place for any faint heart out there at the moment. Throw in. Courage now really beginning to show out. Davies over. Bagshaw having a run on the ball. Sim short. Half back play. Taking plenty of time. Short again. Bagshaw casually on the low. Takes it on the chest. Back to Sims. Seems to be a Sims Bagshaw syndicate at the moment. Yes, the experienced campaigners. They know the situation. Been in it many times. The kick, the 23 minute mark, and a good falling mark, too, taken by Downs. Correction, Andrew Zilm. A high drop punt up towards Warren. Thump down all towards Heinrich. Centrals may get out of it. Through Vivian, a wobbly old kick, only momentarily. Straight back to Zilm. Bagshaw says, go on with it quickly. Down towards half forward, Stone is there and takes the mark for centres. Got a handy line of defence across that centre line too. Sims and Bagshaw. It's the way it goes. McKay, Sims. No, says the umpire. Play on his call. Bobs receives the handball to Duckworth. Makes the mistake with the hand play. Hard of it in. Handball up in the air. Schultz. Bobs. Schultz. Central District still in possession, out wide, Gillies a chance, breaks clear, pops at the goal face, it looks straight goal. Central Districts have hit the front of Dunley with a goal from Jeff Gillies. The Bulldogs ahead by three points. Great bit of football, coming from centre wing, Mobs set up the player, a long kick, out wide, Gillies the player, receives, comes around, Pops it straight through. He's kicked two. Now three points the difference. Almost into time on. Daryl Hicks, you give the football public everything. You're quite right. Can Centrals win their first game at Unley? Sims wins the tap. Straight down towards Schultz, however. He misses it. Van Dommel caught. Great desperation by all players. Sanders pushing the ball towards the boundary line. He's going to have to prop, look for the free kick. Didn't get it. Gillies now the chance to put six for him. He checks one back with the left boot in towards Harrington. Well, that could be the Makita mark of the day from Wilbur Wilson. 
Well, absolute pressure. Surely, in his mind, absolute determination as he flew at that ball. The pack coming at him from the wrong angle. Strong pair of hands, beautiful mark. And central districts have come from nowhere. Three points, the difference at the moment. And if he punches this one through, Sturt are in big trouble. Wilson threads it towards goals. Looks good. Goal to Central Districts. And again, they're running home well. That's fourth goal to Wilbur Wilson. 14 kicks, a fine performance. And Centrals now go to 13-20, leading Sturt 13-11. Must have a look at that mark again. An absolutely determined mark. Straight over the top. Perfect kick, four goals. Here's the bounce. Hargraves and Bythe. 26 minutes gone. Bagshaw is there. Caught by Mobs, holding them all. Just imagine what's running through every Central District player's mind at the moment. Once they've got their nose ahead, there's no way they're going to be stopped. Mob says he's going to kick long. Two kicks to get back. Oh, he goes short. Changes his mind. Pete Jonas out wide. Davies there as well. The long kick into the pocket. Under the fall of the ball. At the back. Norsworthy. Nigel Walk. And a throw in. Into the time on period. 27 minutes gone. Final turn. Norsworthy down. Out comes the duck. Gets a quick handball over. Chance for Renee Van Dommel. Short. And wide. Danny Harrington. Schultz. Reed. Holding the ball. Reed says yes. And the crowd go wild. Graham Schultz has been caught many, many times today. A high ball by Reed. Bythine taps it forward. Chance for Gillies. Spears a handball out towards Van Dommel. It won't sit for him properly. Takes it in towards the pocket with Trevor Sims. Over the line it goes. And a throw in in the left forward pocket. Central District throwing the defensive line across their centre line. Schultz, Bythine, Jonas. Look at Duckworth beginning to direct traffic across that half-back spot. That's the way the ball's got to come out. Renee Van Dommel. In there is Phil Sanders. Schultz also, heavy body work, Norsworthy, Jonas, barges through, doesn't expect the handball to come back from Wilson, Sims, in strife, Bagshaw, Mr. Cool, the handball, up high, Andy Zill, out in an open paddock, completely by himself, Duckworth there, grabs him, he breaks the tackle, onto the left boot, but there's Pete Bythine, strung across the centre, good mark. Bythine at centre field. 14th kick to the Ruckman, goes short and finds Mobs. 28 minutes have gone. I would doubt whether there'll be a lot of time on. Kick from Captain Mobs. Duckworth the flyer and his teammate Danny Harrington is there as well. Play on as the call, however. And it comes out to Bagshaw on the half-back line. Goes with a long kick. Sturt now, the pressure's on them. Up towards Downs, he completes the mark. Sturt have got to move that ball quickly. It's no good now wasting time. Andrew Downs between centre and half forward. Goes up towards Whelan. Comes to meet it now. But nipping in front is Richard Cochran. A good mark in defence. Yes, running the wrong way. Knew Whelan was coming at him. Stood his ground and took the mark. Between the back pocket and the half back flank. Prepared to play plenty of time. Won't kick short in the back lines. He goes towards centre wing. A huge mass of players. At the back, Andy Downs. Wilbur Wilson. Bagshaw, handballed quickly. Lloyd, short. Gets a shocking bounce. Norsworthy, in big strike. Chance, covering the ball beautifully. Lee Stone, tapped it out. Rob calls, plenty of time. Short. Oh, Whelan by the square. Here comes Cochran. Couldn't quite control it. Cochran again. Very strongly kept the ball there. Wouldn't allow Whelan a chance to come at the ball. And forces the bounce. Well... An opportunity goes begging. Bounce, metres out, time running out for Sturt. Centrals attempting to break the ice at Unley. Still in the left forward pocket. Now the desperation stuff starts. Davies, Davies. by Thien Norsworthy. Towards Bagshaw. Great mark. He's got to be quick though. Short. Well done, the siren's gone. Warren 
Warren has taken the mark at half forward. He's gone to the goal square. The Central District's defence are not going to worry about it. They know it's over. And Central Districts have won for the first time at Unley Oval. Final score here at Unley with Centrals after 329 games. Victorious at Unley Oval. 13-20, defeating Sturt 14-11. Great action here on Seven's big replay. 10,327 people saw Central regain top place on the Premiership table with its first win at Unley Oval. Goal kickers for Central District, Wilbur Wilson kicked four, Johnny Duckworth three and Jeff Gillies two, and for Sturt, Ken Whelan and Paul Bagshaw kicked three, Jamie Warren and Phil Heinrich two. After the game, Sandy Roberts spoke with Daryl Hicks and Andrew Zoom. Gentlemen, firstly, congratulations to both sides on a marvellous game of football for the public of South Australia. I think uh, what whoever, however many people there were, it must have been 10 or 12,000, really would have enjoyed the game. And uh, it's great to get with Andrew. I coached him as a reserves coach. I always believed that he was league potential, and he's having a really great season. Yes, Andrew, would that be personally your best game with the club? Oh yeah, I think so. It'd be the best one. And started getting into it over the last couple of weeks on the wing, and I'd say today was pretty good. Darrell, for you and Central Districts, you've written yourselves into the history books. Yes, well, I told the players before the game that I thought it would only be proper that if we were to win in the next here in the next couple of years, that they should be the team that won it because of all the hard work and the lift that they have given the club this year by their performances. And due credit to them, and now it's in the books. I was amazed in the first term, you probably had 90% possession of the ball, but were unable to convert. Well, we were a little toey. I think we made unforced errors, and we couldn't, we didn't run the ball through our half-forward line, which we attempted to do. We thought it could get our reflex game going through half-forward, and get a set shot, but uh, Sturt's defence is very tight. On the other hand, Andrew, having seen you for the past two weeks, slow to start against North Adelaide, and also very slow today against Central Districts. Any particular reason? I really don't know, Sandy. I think uh, it's just... Oh, well, I really don't know. I can't really answer it. You certainly Something just slow off the mark, I think. Yes, you had your opportunities in the third term, came back strongly, and uh, with a lead of some 13 or 14 points, looked as though you were going to go on with it. But then Central's again running over you. Yes, uh, Central's ran on well. Um, I think we, we played as, as well, but I just, well, I think there was just a little bit of a drop and Central's capitalised on it, I think. I You're thought in the second and third quarter that Sturt took marks within scoring distance and kicked accurately, where we weren't able to do that until right towards the end of the game with Duckworth and, and I thought Harrington did take that mark. <laughs> yes, I thought you might get that one. Did you it? like our red shorts? <laughs> Uh, very impressed, I yes. They look nice too. Very impressed. And I was also impressed by the forced move you had to make of John Duckworth into the forward lines in that final turn. Well, I've always believed that most of the good team selections and team placements made by coaches are done as a result of injury, and, and that was the case. It's a hard road now, Andrew. Uh, can you still look at a chance of making the five? I think so. I think if we win the next five, I think we'd be in with a really good chance. Uh, we didn't lose by much today. It was... We all played well, except for that last 15 odd minutes. I think we're still on with a chance. Darrell, again, congratulations and thank you both, gentlemen, for being on Seven's Big Replay. Thank you, Thanks, Andy. And things will certainly be swinging out there, Elizabeth, tonight, and uh, quite understandably so. It was a very fine effort by Central District.